So if you're new here, I make videos about photography, filmmaking, content creation, all that stuff. So my hope is by the end of that, you learn something valuable and be encouraged to create daily. All right, um, it is a little cluster for making here. You know what? Hold on, I fix that real quick. I fix that right there, real quick. All right, much better, much better, much, much better. All right, so. Into this video, I'm going to show you how to create the two to one aspect ratio of the new, or should I say, the new YouTube cinematic two to one aspect ratio. All right, and Are you excited? Are, are, are you excited? I mean, I mean, are you excited? Are you as excited as I am excited? Because I'm excited that you excited. I bet you're sitting over there like with a smile on your face like this and just your head shaking like that, don't you? I, 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 hey, don't lie, don't lie. I know, I see you, I see you doing this. I see. You. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. So, well, as we all know that you know. This past Christmas, this past, um, what do you call it, Black Friday, I don't know if, if it's the same in your country, but in America, here in the United States of America, there's Black Friday that comes after Thanksgiving, that's where, you know, a lot of the things goes on sale and forcing people to buy a lot of stuff at a discounted price. And I'm very sure you probably got a brand new phone and a brand new flat screen TV that's also very wide. And as you know, the wider the screen, the more different it shows the ratio or the aspect ratio of whatever your favorite YouTuber, like myself, is putting out to you. So therefore, me, as your favorite YouTuber, I figured there's a way that I can fix that. You know, well, make sure that I fill the entire screen of your phone, of your tablet, of your, you know, whatever device you're watching me from. So therefore, let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you exactly how all of that is done. All right, so now that we are in Premiere Pro, I already have both of the footage that I need, that I'm going to be using in the bottom left corner and then I already have Premiere Pro open. So therefore, I'm gonna wait for you to do just about the same. All right, that should take you just about right now. Okay, so. Now that you probably already have Premiere Pro open as of right now with whatever footage that you want to use, first thing first is just grab just any footage. Just grab the footage and drag it in your timeline. The minute you do that, it's gonna pop up at the very top right. Right over here, you're gonna have everything just open right up. So once you have that up, that means you already created a sequence setting and that when you go back in the left, in the bottom left corner, you will notice exactly what the sequence is so if you right click on that you go all the way up to sequence setting once you have that it will show you that the sequence of this specific footage is a 1080p footage and it's 1920 by 1080 all right it's a 16 by 9 ratio so once you have that to create the 2 to 9 ratio it doesn't matter if you have a 4 if you shot in 4k or if you shot in 1080 I can show you both ways regardless. So, two to one ratio. So the two is the first one. The one, you already know, it, is the second part, which is the vertical part. So, to get the two to one ratio, you take the first one, you divide it by two, then you get the number for the second one. So, 1920 divided by two, that would be 960. So, when you plug in 960, and you click out of it automatically it will show you that it says a two to one ratio right over that little circle that i'm circling right now so once you see that automatically you are in a two to one ratio so once you click on that automatically it's going to ask you are you sure that exactly that that is what you want to do since that is what you really want to do 
Let's transfer it to a from 16 by 9 ratio to a 2 to 1 ratio. You just press OK. Once you press that OK, it will automatically change it. You will automatically see that your screen is a little bit wider. So, therefore, all you got to do is go into the footage in your timeline, right click on it, scale to frame size, and you're going to notice how it is with the black bar in the corner so meaning if i was to shoot anything in that since your phone is about this wide that is why you have the black bar in this side and that side because your phone is a lot wider so your phone or your tv or anything like that it's a lot wider so that is why it gives you the black bar so to fix that just go right in the scale and just scale up I already know what the scale is for mine since I've been doing it for a little bit now so mine is 112.5 and that should fit it automatically so if you look at it just gotta see it and then you can notice that you have some room on the top and some room on the bottom so you can just fit it to whichever one fits your need which mean me I'm just going to leave it right about there and that's about it that's about it. So if you're doing it in 4K, 4K, I'm sure it's basically, if I take 1920 times two, that would be 3840, which means 3840. So if you take 3840 divided by two, that would be 1920. So for 4K, horizontal, that would be 3840. And for vertical, it would be 1920 so therefore there you have it folks all right so isn't that a great way to kick in with the new year 2022 some tutorial you just learned some good stuff and now you cannot wait to go get some footage in and get your stuff up huh all right well it was nice i gotta go because i gotta film the next video for you so therefore, I will see you in the next one. Go ahead, smash that like button, beat it up, stomp on it, like, again, share, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one. Deuces! Ha!